What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have something amazing to announce. We are now part of the 69th channel to have over 1 million subscribers. And first and foremost, I want to thank each and every one of you watching this video right now. Without you, none of this is possible and I'm going to talk about the, the whole situation that happened with me, me going to jail. This is actually part two of a social experiment and I wanted to see what the GOAT army would do if their leader went to jail. My seven street friends listen, Kelly listens to me. People, like I have people that I can talk to. Maybe I'm a little narcissistic that I like to talk to the camera where no one can interrupt me or give any kind of input and I'm kind of supreme overlord of this conversation. Maybe I kind of like that. <laughs> this is a story about a man named Alexander Walker. Or better yet known by his online name as White Boy 7th Street. If you were on the internet and somewhat interested in the COD community back in the early 2010s, chances are you've heard about White Boy 7th Street. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is White Boy 7th Street bringing you a domination ground war team deathmatch on the map. And no, only two of the three things that I just stated are true. For some reason, I always mix together domination and ground war into one fruity drink with like a pineapple on top and a, a nice straw and then I drink too many of those and then I call women big booty bitches and then I get slapped. But I got the MP5K and the K is for potassium and we have superior potassium over here on 7th Street because we're just running through noobs with the rapid fire attack. White Boy 7th Street was famous for playing Call of Duty and would often upload videos of him shooting enemies with a variety of guns specified in the title. His content was a relic of what YouTube used to be like back in the day. A clear example of not only how much more homemade the videos felt, but also how easy it felt to record them as well. His first video was shot in front of a TV for Christ's sakes. It doesn't get more homemade than that. The new one? Yeah, they, they look pretty cool. Some of the screenshots that they posted there would be a new Mossy Zombie one that's coming out with it. So they're constantly about... Huh? In the early days of YouTube, and even into the early 2010s, he would not only accumulate tons and tons of views, but would also accumulate a fan base that was eager to watch him play any type of game, gaining over hundreds of thousands of views each video. But over the past few years, his channel has hit a bit of a snag. A snag so rough that right now he can barely pull in a hundred thousand views on a video. Mind you, this is a channel with over 2.5 million subs, and his latest video only pulled in 15,000. Now before we dive deep into this man and his eroding career, I want to preface this by saying that I'm not making this video because I hate White Boy 7th Street. In fact, quite the opposite. Because back in the day when I was a wee lad and I was a diehard Black Ops 2 fanboy who drank so much Mountain Dew Code Red that I accidentally had heart palpitations, I used to religiously watch his videos. He, along with Pro Syndicate Natalie A, back when his content wasn't hot garbage and he was sort of relatable, were some of the few COD YouTubers who I'd pour hours into watching their content. They're the reason why I fell in love with COD Black Ops 2. So before you go around accusing me of hating the dude, I'm just making this video to reflect on him as a creator and hopefully set a spark in his heart for content creation once again. But with that being said, let's take a look at White Boy 7th Street and his gradual, disappointing, and inevitable downfall.
When the word washed up comes to mind, you usually associate it with someone who has been on the height of their career and is no longer successful. I don't know. I don't know how they could even do it, but maybe I'm just a salty old man and I'm washed up and I don't care for COD anymore, but I don't think that's the truth. I go back to play Black Ops 1, I love it. I go back to play COD 4 even, and I love it. I do love Modern Warfare Remastered, don't get me wrong, but... It's not the same. It's definitely not the same. At the time of YouTube's genesis, channels like White Boy 7th Street, along with many others, had no competition. No competitors meant it was a free market. In the early days of YouTube, Alex was one of the early pioneers of commentary, just like Wings of Redemption. Because Call of Duty videos were new at the time, he gained views and subscribers really fast and really quickly. Now, this can either mean one of two things. You will grow too fast for your own good and your content won't evolve because you already established a safety net of comfortability, which will ultimately lead to people watching your content to either make fun of you or out of pity, or you'll grow alongside your content subscriber count equivocally, which will garner you a better outcome. Unfortunately, Alex chose the latter of the two having his content evolve at a snail's pace. This would lead to one of the many reasons for his downfall. An example, his thumbnails. Can you guess which thumbnails are from 9 months ago versus 10 months ago? No, cause they look the fucking same. But with that being said, none of his thumbnails never really had any effort put into it. Like most of them aren't good both creatively and well, they just don't stand out. Another example, his videos. Can you guess which of his videos were from 10 years ago versus a year ago? No, because his channel and his videos haven't changed that much. Now, I know that some creators gradually evolve from having their content be recorded on a fucking Nokia N-Gage to a $40,000 camera, but with Alex, it seems like his content is evolving just backwards. And I hate to admit it, but it seems like he doesn't really care for making videos anymore, which sucks, but hey, everyone's different. But enough sob story, let's continue with the analysis. With his content not evolving fast enough and staying stale, people started to lose interest, a reoccurring theme with a lot of YouTubers that I talk about. Eventually, his channel devolved into having no personality. His videos didn't stand out and didn't have any or enough personality in it. Seems like he gave up and is now just uploading with minimum effort. I couldn't really pinpoint an exact moment of where his downfall started, but I'm gonna take a pretty wild guess that it was around this time in particular. The reason why is because this would mark the de-evolution of his channel and his content. He'd post more stream highlights and seemed less enthusiastic about videos. This would also mark a time where a lot of his content, particularly his thumbnails, would all blend together and instead of being a new and unique thing, it would just kind of look very generic on the surface and if you put this next to a random video, you wouldn't tell which one's which. And even giving them a watch would reveal that it's about as plain as fucking bimbo bread. I can definitely see that as the years went on, his passion for content creation just kind of fizzled out. His uploading schedule would be very inconsistent, pretty much uploading a few videos a month. Videos that really didn't have a whole lot of editing going on. And I know I might sound like a hypocrite, but he can hire an editor that will help him make better content and not just this. I feel like if he were to change his content style and actually put in effort to make something new, he would definitely be getting views like what he used to. His channel would definitely be far along, way more than what it is now. He would actually garner fans and actually have respect for not only himself, but from his fans. But alas, his channel has been hovering around the 5,000 and 85,000 view mark, barely passing 100,000 sometimes, and even if it does, it's very few and far in between, unlike in the past where he would easily pass 100,000. 
And it's a shame to see someone I watched a ton of not caring about their passion that they once had. But that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and if you have your own opinions about White Boy 7th Street, for example, a, a story of how you found him or anything like that, please leave it down in the comment section down below. And also, if you have a suggestion, I would highly recommend you put it down in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to read it, and if I like it, I will heart it. I probably heart every other comment, but you know what? doesn't fucking matter. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys and see you guys. Just a little bit real to them. But then, don't be a stranger. Bye!